In the late 19th century, Emperor Johannes IV ascended to the throne of Ethiopia, becoming a formidable leader and defender of his beloved nation. His reign, from 1872 to 1889, was marked by a series of military challenges as he fended off threats from Egypt, Italy, and the Sudanese Mahdists. Born as Casa Mercha, Johannes IV originally held the title of De Jazmach, or Earl of Tigray. Following the death of Emperor Tewodros, Johannes claimed the Ethiopian throne in 1872, facing resistance from his rival, Menelik II, the King of Shua. Despite their differences, Johannes and Menelik arranged a dynastic marriage between their families, establishing an agreement that Menelik would succeed Johannes as emperor. Their spheres of influence were defined, with Menelik controlling the south and Johannes ruling the north. Johannes embarked on a progressive agenda, aiming to centralize power and reduce the influence of regional nobles. He also sought to unify his subjects through enforced conversion to the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, a move that faced resistance from Muslims who opposed the religious impositions. Johannes' reign was characterized by continuous military threats. In 1875 and 1876, he successfully repelled Egyptian advances, defeating them at the battles of Gundat and Gura. These victories not only secured Ethiopian territory, but also provided Johannes with captured weaponry, equipping his army with modern firepower. In 1885, Italy occupied the Red Sea port of Massawa and expanded inland toward Tigray. Johannes met this aggression head on, decisively defeating the Italians at the Battle of Dogali in 1887, sending a strong message that Ethiopia would not be conquered. As the Islamic revivalist dervishes gained ground in the Sudan, they invaded Ethiopia, devastating the ancient capital of Gondar. Johannes fiercely fought against the dervishes, displaying his military prowess once again. Tragically, Johannes IV met his end at the Battle of Metema in March 1889 as he valiantly defended his nation against the dervishes. His untimely demise marked the end of a remarkable era in Ethiopian history. Emperor Johannes IV's legacy lives on as a symbol of courage, resilience, and unwavering dedication to the sovereignty of Ethiopia. His military victories and progressive reforms laid the foundation for future leaders, most notably his successor, Emperor Menelik II. Following Johannes' death, Menelik II ascended to the throne as the Emperor of Ethiopia. He carried forward Johannes' vision for a unified and independent Ethiopia, solidifying his control over the south and expanding his influence across the country. Had Emperor Menelik II pursued a policy of modernization and territorial expansion, successfully resisting Italian colonial aggression and expanding Ethiopian territories. The combined efforts of Emperor Johannes IV and Emperor Menelik II safeguarded Ethiopia's independence and left a lasting impact on its history. Their commitment to preserving Ethiopian culture, defending against external threats, and fostering internal development set the stage for the country's future growth and resilience. <laughs>